guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode 7 and 8 of season 3 of Working. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, God, yeah. That. Oh, God. Of course she's here. Where else would she be? Because if she would have stayed at the restaurant, her brother would have kept coming and not would have taken no for an answer. I mean... Shota was right about last week of saying, hey, you need to go home. You need to see your parents, your family. You need to sort this ish out. I still am kind of hoping that this show um, has her actual family come and see her, specifically her mom. Maybe her dad. Because she's been gone for how long? And this girl, you know... And call her parents. And call her brother. Her brother went out here looking for her ass. I'm just saying. That's just me. Um, because you know. If it was any other person. Looking for their child. And they found them. Oh. Somebody would have gotten their butt kicked. Just saying. <laughs> First it would have been like. Oh my god. Thank god you're safe. Like. Hmm, you're not hurt. You're you know well rested. And, it's, and then you know. They would have thanked the person. That you know saved her and kept her ha safe and everything but by the time they go home that'd be a whole nother story I'm just saying <laughs> why don't you go home go home you go home Girl! No. Yeah, because you can't keep running off. You really need to go home. Yeah. Was it because of the... Well, it was really because of the fact that, you know, her parents were... Her family wasn't paying attention to her. Cosway, you can't take someone off the street! We're surrounded by idiots. Except Nazana. Nazana is just freaking adorable. We love her. Oh, honey. In order for you to have a better life. Mm. I got so my best boy. I thought some of us, you know, up until now, some of probably would have still been be like least best boy because, you know, bro over here blackmailing everybody. Oh, fuck. Really? <laughs> no, 
No. Just a little bit longer, but eventually you need to go home. Also, I love her outfit. Cute. No. Yeah. You made a mess, so you need to clean it up. Honestly, yes. But of course. Sato is just gonna pick you up. Mm. It really would. I mean, because if she doesn't go home on her own, her brother's still gonna continuously come no matter what. Go on, Nachio. No, do not talk about Kyoko. Because when you talk about Kyoko Zen Yashiro, you never stop. <laughs> Boo boo, Soma is not your brother. Your brother is the one who wants you to go the heck home. So go home. Oh, he's not here today? Oh. So no Agaragi, PM. He wasn't supposed to tell him. Really? Really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what you guys could do? Take her on a car ride and be like, hey, we're going to go to, um, Gonna go to a theme park. What damn Kyoko? Oh, oh, Tosan. No. We're just, they're just doing what's best for you, honey. And what's best for you is to go home. You need to talk to your mom. I know you feel upset still about your father, but still. I don't think she was taking it all out on you and making you, you know, study all the time. I just think your mom just, w n no. I, I just think your mom maybe wants you to have a better life. Every parent wants that for their kid. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. 
SOS. SOS. So freaking S. This girl is never gonna get this. No matter how many times everybody's like, go the fuck home. She's never gonna get it. Like, oh. <laughs> get the fuck out, boy. It really is. Yamada? Okay. I think so, too. That feels so much better. <gasps> so are you basically coming back to try again? You ate her natto, so you know, no matter what, she's still pissed about that shit. Mm. You're like hella cold. Your mom should have been like any other mom. The hell? Yeah, there could be an answer in there. It's weird how, you know, your father wrote in a manual for your mom. What the hell? Do we really do that, people? Yeah, I mean, she ain't like a Terminator or some shit, right? I mean... He... <laughs> Is it weird that she kind of looks like Yamada's mom from the back with the side ponytail and everything? Yeah, that that is Yamada's mom. So she, because she is so exhausted at work, she took that ish out on Yamada with the studying and everything. Hello, mommy dearest. I'm scared. I don't want to look. Yeah, what are you doing here?
But hold on. Owie, you need to. You have the right to, honey bunny. Yeah. Good job, Soma. Yeah, you, you can't really do that. Do you want to say anything? Yeah. Say something. <laughs> what? So you gave her the books. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which made her hate studying. Mm-hmm, sure, honey. Yeah. <laughs> so much just the biggest asshole, but you know what? It's okay, I like him. You don't have to worry about me anymore. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Ocho Sun. Oh! <laughs> no baby no 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 your dad just wasn't you know as hard on you to read the manual as he was your brother I mean your brother is essentially the male of the house so he's got to know everything the ins and the outs yeah in a weird way yeah you have grown as a person Oh, Ota-san's wife, are you gonna go with her so you can see your husband finally? Because we need that, like, so freaking bad, I'm just saying.
Yeah. Good job, babe. <laughs> Holy shit! D did everybody else come too? in the episode like this? No. Okay, good. Is Ocho-san's wife still coming? Please. I beg you. It'll be fine. Yeah, she does stupid things, but yeah, she ain't dumb. You know, we could have just ended the season like this. I mean, I wouldn't be mad at it, but like, oh, we finally, finally have the fact that Oto and his wife are finally back together. Oh my god. I think if you guys would have told me this at the beginning of the show, of the connection between Aoi and Shota, I probably would have been looking at you like you were freaking crazy because I wasn't expecting it. But once, <laughs> once her face is ex-husband, we're talking about it and you see the back of her hair with the side pony and I'm like, that's, um, yeah, what you put two and two together and you're figuring it out. Oh my God. But, okay, I'm glad Yamada's going home. She's still going to be a part of the show, because, of course, she can't have a show without Yamada, because Yamada is, like, would we call her the saving grace of this show? I don't know. She's just, you know, she's a part of the family. You can't have her not in this show and be a part of this family, because she's one of many who makes this show and this family whole. But... We'll be able to see her more at home. We'll be able to see her see, you know, make a better connection with her mother, which is good. I want that for her. I mean, she's been gone since season freaking one. So she needs to have that like, oh, Jesus, her mom scares me. That like alone time with her mother. Mystic Sugar. What the heck? What? Okay. All right. I'm guessing, you know, it seems like episode eight is just going to continue right where we left off, possibly, maybe. Um, but still, your girl is glad that Oto-san and his wife are finally together again after. How long this woman been gone for? For like forever? Because, um, she should have been, I mean, she went to go get milk. And that milk is expired. So it's been a long time. But still, I'm glad that those two were together. I'm glad that Aoi is finally back with her fa uh, family. Um, and hopefully it just goes up from here. We're almost done with this season, and I think we have one more season to go before we're completely done with the show. Yeah, 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 because I'm supposed to watch the last season when March comes in like a lion. Um, I don't know, personally, really, I don't know what else to say. This was a really good episode, and... Yamada, specifically Aoi, she needed this. I needed this for her as well. I mean, ever since last week when her brother finally found her and begged her and, like, 
pleaded with her to come home and like freaking Shota was like hey go home and I'm like yeah go home you need to go home in order to just solve this this is a big problem because hello like I mean you're you've been gone for who knows god how long and you know your mom must be worried about you and her mom has a really weird way of showing her conveying her feelings and how she feels because she her face okay I, I love saying this about me because I do have this face I have one of those like um resting bitch faces type faces me Kanye West and maybe like a couple of other celebrities all have that resting bitch face so anytime when someone personally looks at me and I could be the happiest I feel at that time someone looks at me for like one second and they come up to me and they're like oh my god are you okay and I'm like yeah I'm okay there's nothing wrong with me. Like, why are you bothering me right now? I'm totally fine. And I, it's one of my biggest, my number one pet peeve because of the fact is people can't tell how I feel because I have a resting bitch face. And I'm sorry that I have a resting bitch face. But still, come on now. Like, even if I have to show like, oh my God, yes, I'm so happy right now. Even though like my resting bitch face is like, or I feel like this. If I feel like, yeah, I'm kind of done with the world today, but if I still feel happy, esque, and excited, sometimes you can tell it in my body language. Sometimes you can tell it by my voice. But because of the fact is my resting bitch face is just ish, like uh, people immediately think I'm I'm pissed about something, which is always not true. It ain't. It's not. So that's why I get so annoyed when people ask me if I'm okay when I don't look like I'm okay. It is so annoying. It, it's just, ooh, it, it ticks me off so much. And it, mm, sometimes you're going to be like, yeah, I'm okay. What's wrong? Like, leave me alone. Please. For five, like, minutes. Like, just, mm, mm. Unless I really say, yeah, I'm not happy right now. But yeah, this is a really good episode. I loved it. It was sweet. I'm glad that, you know, her family are reunited. This girl is going home. <laughs> she ain't living at the restaurant or at Shota's house anymore. She is going home. Like, oh my god. She'll be able to still work at the restaurant, but she is going the fuck home. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 8. Okay, episode 8 and 3, 2, 1, go. Thank God. <laughs> we celebrating today. <laughs> but like I said, I feel like she's still going to be working here. Two weeks. What I thought was going to happen was it'd be two weeks later and that girl has not come to work. <laughs> and they would have probably, you know, <laughs> found her brother and be like, where the hell y'all live? Where Yamada at? Be like, Yamada, come to work, please. Thank you. But are we still not going to continuously talk about, you know, Soma and Yashiro's date and hug? It's been, like, since last week. And we're still not going to talk about that again? Because, um, we need to. I'm just saying.
You better... Oh, okay, thank God. I, I hope so. Yay! Her voice is really sweet. Uh huh. I mean, yeah, she don't really get paid, so no. I think that'd be fine. You just wouldn't get paid. I mean, you weren't getting paid before anyway. No. There you go. Because, like, how many dishes does she break? Probably over a thousand. Or, you know, she could just replace those dishes. Excuse me. Now it's time for you to work on having a better relationship with your mom. Yeah, because you're still working here, so you can pay off them dishes. <laughs> yeah, she still is. Not you. Oh, are we gonna talk about the day? Are you gonna get her something? <gasps> this is like the worst timing ever because Pull something together that quickly by tomorrow. Help. Because you like her. We all know that. <laughs> yep, but she's more calm when she talks to him. Unlike you, the person she likes. But then it also depends on the on a girl at the same time because when I when there's a guy that I like, I, I mean I don't punch them. <laughs> I'm a little nervous around them, but eventually, like when I am okay to talk to them, then like yeah, I can say complete sentences. Sometimes I I ramble a little bit. <laughs>
so, um, yeah. What are you gonna do? Yes, you do. I, I want you to get together with Yachiro. So, you need to go out and go get her a gift and then hug her again. Hell, I don't know, kiss her something. I am too. I mean, Sato. Like, damn. Read the room! <laughs> oh, so my help. Like, I mean, Sato could take her out for a drink again, and then maybe, like, movies or some shit. My bad. Lying scene. <laughs> I didn't mean to knock it over again. Listen to Soma. I know the two idiots working together to help you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you kicked their ass, didn't you? Oh my god! Four? I hope he did. Oh, oh. <laughs> Is it the same necklace?
Well, hold on. How 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 much was the necklace? Like two thousand dollars, two hundred yen. More am I going? To? Probably it was a very expensive name brand necklace. Speak up, babe. A little bit louder for her. Aww. See, you see that rustin' bitch face? Me in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mom's busy. Don't be upset about that. But you have a cell phone. Yay! And you should be able to text everybody now. <laughs> I, I, you know, with Soma, I don't think Soma would have wanted your phone number, but... Yeah! You, but she's only going to really talk about kyoko son. Oh, right. Yeah, just like a little thing like, hey, how how you doing? How's your day going? I, I think it might put a smile on her face. Kind of. But you never know unless you try. <laughs> It's good. She never replied. <laughs> What's wrong? Excuse me? How can someone be shorter when they're already short? <laughs> Popular, I'm so sorry, baby. Oh my god! running away <laughs> uh. she's still waiting you gotta feel bad for these two. One feels like she got shorter and the other one is left on red. Never getting a reply back for her mom. But she didn't reply back. Now, okay, Yamada, your mom could be busy right now. And maybe just doesn't have the time. You better get that manual out or something. Go, go find your brother. Find your brother. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Your brother...
That's why. <laughs> oh, that just took her confidence down. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> hey, girls, like, leave me the hell alone, please. You just made me depressed. The fact that he's still able to, like, translate that even though it's blank as hell. <laughs> Thank you for the manual. <laughs> but still. No. <laughs> um, Aoi needs to, like, needs to learn that manual. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I can't with some love. That's it? Seriously? <laughs> no, no, thank you, sir. Nobody wants to be the brother <laughs> of either Yavin. 
That's so sad, though, but it's so true. I mean, the fact that freaking Sancho was like, I'm a dip. <laughs> Oh, but uh, I mean, cause uh, Soma, <laughs> I can't breathe. Soma was forced into this ever since like one season, one season two. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, oh god, that's his hell. <laughs> like, oh god. You gotta feel bad for these boys. <laughs> the, the shenanigans that the Soma siblings put. Not the Soma, the Yamada <laughs> The Yamada siblings put these guys through. Like, oh my god. You gotta feel bad for a show to do. (laughs) 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 Okay, but the fact is that, like, for you. Sato has been in like had a crash on Yajiro for four years and he's bought her four different games in the four years and he's had a crush on her. Oh my god, like that sets the bar for like guys. Like, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, this is why anime man <laughs> This is why us like girls are so attracted to anime man because we're like, oh my god, look what they do and look what you do. <laughs> And I'm not, and I'm not saying that to be mean, but I mean, cause like from all the videos and TikToks that I always watch, like on a time when I am not recording and I'm just like bored, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go through TikTok or some shit. There's always that one guy, <laughs> and I see him a lot now, where they're like, yeah, you know, you want an anime like a girl who watches anime as a girlfriend? Oh yeah, you gotta compete with this. And this and him and him and maybe sometimes her but then also him and him and I'm like yeah you gotta compete with so many different anime guys because no matter what we're immediately in love with them we love you too but you know we like mm, if we had to choose between the anime man or you we gonna choose the anime man <laughs> Anime boy, anime boys, just as much as anime girls are like the perfection, like, yeah, even though they're not real, it's the same thing for us. <laughs> I mean, you know, when girls make videos on TikTok about the same thing that we have to be jealous of some anime girls, I mean, hey, it's it's the standard, but like, me, I, I'm like, eh, it, it happens, it, it's fine, but like, it's still, it's, it's kind of made it standard. Of, yeah, if you're in, if you have a crush on a girl, maybe go ahead and get stuff for her birthday. So when it's like the four years that you, or so many years you've been in love with this girl, and then it's been her birthday again, and you give her gifts. Because that's like the sweetest thing. It's the cute thing, the thought that counts and stuff. I mean, he gave her a necklace and like three other things. Would have liked to know what those other things, three things were, but of course, they have to throw it under the bus or over the rainbow or whatever and we're never really going to see it unless, you know, they talk about it in episode 10 to the finale and such. But this was a really good episode. I I still love the Yamada siblings. They're both, you know, different um, from everybody else in the cast. I mean, you know, from someone who still thinks uh, Aoi is a little bit annoying at times, but that is her thing her characteristic she's funny but she can be very annoying at times and it's okay you can love that about her but her brother i cannot even tell you what i feel about her brother because like at first i liked him and i still like him now he can be uh as equal as annoying as his sister but it's more like he's stupid funny (laughs) and he's only really more annoying anytime when him and um so to have like a, a like any scene together, especially when it's you know 
an entrance to Mahiru because that little love triangle that they have <laughs> is just fucking hilarious. But yeah, both episodes were good as heck. But like, other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode seven and eight of season three of Working. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for everybody else and next Friday for <clears throat> Patreons for episodes nine and ten. Bye, guys.